Roadies, welcome to the road trip. Hi. Roadies. <clears throat> a few things. First and foremost, it's freezing here in Michigan. But Unbelievable. I'm not going to complain. No. Because. We have no right to complain, to be honest with you. No, because I am so I am so thankful I don't live in Buffalo, New York today. Oh my God. Have you seen the pictures on Good Morning America? If you have not, Google them. And I don't care what weather conditions you're living in right now. It you can't be, be that bad. I, like, we got a couple of inches of snow. Not even, I think, like, maybe one. Two, maybe. Two, maybe. But it's just, it's so cold. And then I was watching the news this morning, and I said, I have no right to complain. Literally, it is, like, it is, as it's ridiculous. Uh, the one picture I saw in Good Morning America is somebody opened up their, uh, their garage door, and it was, like, almost up to the top of the garage door. I mean. So our parents and our sisters were like, that would be so amazing. <sighs> I don't feel that way. At all. Jen and I look at each other like, who are we living with right now? Like, I, that, I mean, that does not seem like a grand old day to me. I'm sorry. No. 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 Just, they're like, oh, well, we can have a white Christmas. We can have a white Christmas with like one, one inch, inch of snow. Like, I mean, you don't have to have five or six feet of snow in order to have a white Christmas. It's crazy. Not to mention, it's so cold. It, like, I can't even, and like the wind, we're not even going to get started on the wind. But shout out to everyone. If you're in upstate New York, or even if you've gotten a lot of snow, Canada, because I know you guys are getting a lot of snow right now, shout out to y'all, because I'm telling High you, five. my Midwest self, I there was like a dusting of snow early, and I was complaining. I was like, I have no right to complain, though, after Seriously. I watched the news. Seriously. We do have no room to no, complain. No, But none. thank God we don't live in Buffalo. Oh, my goodness. That's my feelings today. And speaking of being thankful... Next yes. Week, next week is Thanksgiving, right? It is. If you uh, celebrate Thanksgiving. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I know Canada is different than the United States. Theirs has already happened. <laughs> but, yeah, I think it's in October. Yes. Am I right? Yeah, Canadian I Canadian so. is I think it's in October. I believe so. But, anyways, next week is Thanksgiving to us, for yeah. us next week, right? And we are avid Black Friday shoppers. I yes. love it. We love getting up early, getting a mm. hot cocoa. Well, not this one, because we know she'll only Listen, get up early. I think, there, here's my, just real quick on Black Friday. I think the same sales are online. Therefore, I don't need to go stand outside in order to get the same but they're sale. Not, but they're not online all the time. <sighs> the ones fact, I care about. Most of the good ones are in-store only. Back to my point. I still only care about the online ones. We go. So I remember when, you know, you would have Thanksgiving Day, you know, with your family and friends. Mm -hmm. and then on Friday, you'd get up early. You'd go shopping, right? Yeah. Not the case no more. No. Now, many stores are not opening up on Thanksgiving Day. Val's store, uh, where she works, is opening up at 5 p.m. Christmas Day. No, Thanksgiving Day. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Thanksgiving Day. Yeah. 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Now, now, usually... We're kind of late dinner eater people on Thanksgiving. We don't usually eat dinner until like five, six. You know, if you tell Mexican family to be somewhere at five, they're showing up at seven. So it's like, you know what I mean? So it's like now we have to like eat at three. <laughs> we have to have breakfast really because poor Val has to work. And it's gonna, so then oh my Val gosh. works. Um, so wait, Val, no, Val works, they open at 5, but Val goes in at midnight. Oh, that's right, she did get a And she in. goes, and then it gets off at 8 a.m., and then goes home, and then comes back Black Friday at 4 p.m. Okay, so I don't know, what are your guys' opinions about stores being open on Thanksgiving? Listen. My opinion is, I know there's a few states, like Maine and Massachusetts, who um, are not allowing they their stores. It. They banned it. And to I open say, up. shout out to them. That is amazing. Because I honestly think, like, listen... I mean, traditionally speaking, for a whole family to get together and have dinner, it's rare. You know, we've got schedules, we've got careers, we've got school, we've got a lot. we got life, okay? Right, right. But if there's one, one day we can come together and just relax and visit with each other. Watch a little football. And be thankful, watch a little football, go Lions, I'm just sezzin. Why can't we have just one day, Thanksgiving, where retailers are like, you know what? We're going to take a step back, put the money aside, and, you know, just you be with your family. Because here's the thing. I'm not so much complaining about the people who are going to go out and shop that day. Because it's like, hey, if you want to sacrifice your family time, that's you. Right. But the people who have to work, right. that is my problem. The people who have to show up to work, who have to leave their family to go to their job. I was at a grocery store today, and it said Thanksgiving Day open from 8.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. And I'm like... 
That's Thanksgiving. Right? Like, I mean, that's really. all these people is going to miss that holiday with their family. Seriously. It's ridiculous. I I don't agree with it. I I know that in my time of working <laughs> retail, um, which was only like two years, I never had to worry about uh, this time of year because we were always on vacation. So like I got this time off no matter what. Um, and then the rest of the time I worked for a place that, you know, you got the holidays off. Um, but I just think it's so unfair. Like, give Thanksgiving a chance. Like, let people enjoy time with their family. Let them, you know, have a day just to eat some good food, watch some good sports, just be a family. And we're going to end on this note, Rhodey's next yes. week is Thanksgiving, right? What is your favorite food you guys have on Thanksgiving? What's your favorite food? My favorite food on Thanksgiving. Uh, this is going to be interesting for me because, honest to goodness, I'm really not that big of a fan of a lot of the things. That I like the sweet potatoes. Christmas or on Thanksgiving. Or the green beans. I don't like green beans. I don't like potato salad. Get away. I don't like macaroni. Get your life as Tim McGrath. I don't like macaroni salad. I'm really not that big of a fan of turkey. I'm really not that big of a fan of ham. So, this is what we usually do on I Thanksgiving. I don't like stuffing. Go so away. you're wondering, like, Liesl, what do you eat? Well, I mean, I will pick it. We so. make your peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> Go but ahead, honestly, like, Thanksgiving's one of those holidays. Like, it's fun to be around the family in that. Like, I get more joy from that. But, like, the food, I'm really not that into the Thanksgiving food. And she really don't like pumpkin pie. I really don't like pumpkin pie either. Or pecan well, pie. Pecan pie every once again. But, like, that's a pumpkin pie. pie and, like, how, you, like, some families or people put, like, uh, what is it? Cool, cool Whip? Oh, God, no. That's... <laughs> I, can't, I, I, can't, I cannot. Okay, Rody's favorite favorite Thanksgiving. If I food, had to comment pick, section below, I would say the candy yams. Okay, yeah, that's probably my favorite. The sweet potatoes. Yeah. yeah, because like our grandmother passed down an amazing tradition where you um, cook it with real butter, <laughs> butter and brown, brown sugar. sugar, and just like it's so it's unhealthy, but it's sodium good. You don't even care. And it's like, it's, it's, it's Thanksgiving. Like, I mean, it's and, Thanksgiving. And I love, my grandmother makes uh, stuffing, but she puts oysters in it. Pause. Listen, Pause. don't Pause. knock it to you. Try it. It's Listen amazing. To Listen to me. I love my grandmother with all my heart, which BTW, she's doing very, very well right now. Um, for those of you who are wondering, but I do not, like, she'll make me my own little, like, serving of stuffing. It's about that big and it has no oysters in it. I can't. Rose, have you ever had oyster stuff? Oh, what's the, the, the eggs that y'all eat? The deviled eggs? Oh my god, I can't. I will, I will leave the room. Like, I can't even smell them. And we gotta put, put an olive on oh, top. Oh my, oh no. Oh no, no, no. I can't. I cannot. I like turkeys, okay. I don't know what you're missing. Ham, eh. But like, oh, I do like the mashed potatoes and gravy. That's mashed like, I would say that's probably one of my favorites too. That's a close second. But, like, the rest of I'm it... I'm getting hungry. I don't really eat it. Um, Maybe I'll Instagram my plate this year. On, on one lonely like piece little, of meat. It's 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 struggle-worthy. But, yeah. Yeah, mine is But, Rodies, what is your favorite Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving dish? Or if you guys, like, I would love to hear about something. Or tradition. Never, yeah, or traditions. I would love to hear about stuff that, like, you know, maybe it's not traditional. Because, listen, we have Spanish rice. <laughs> On Thanksgiving. Don't judge. I mean, listen. Some beans. We do. We. Do. I mean, and we're not the only Mexican family who does it. Honestly, it's actually kind of normal. But what else? So yeah, let us know in the comment section below, Rodis. But for today, say it with us. Today, today I, I can, can do, do anything. anything. Say it, believe it, achieve it, Rodis. With that being said, we hope you had a wonderful day. Guess we'll see you next. Man!